Hello you guys and welcome to an Amazon home favorites video. I used to do these videos, I feel like pretty often and it has been probably over a year. So I have gathered up so many just new favorites from Amazon. Specifically, I've tried to limit everything to the home category for today. And you probably already know as you're watching this that it is Amazon Prime Day. So I'm anticipating that most of this is going to be on sale. I'm filming this the day before so I don't exactly know what. I'm gonna have everything I talk about in this video linked below. I know you guys like when I do these pretty fast pace so that's gonna be the case today and then lastly to give you an idea of the order of this video it is gonna be time stamped below we're gonna be starting out with some hosting and just like dining favorites then on to a general home decor some furniture items some like tech and like lighting items and then rounding things out with a few bed and bath favorites so if you like this video I would love if you would subscribe and let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these videos we're just going to hop right in and if you want even more favorites than what I talk about in this video because again I feel like it was just hard to limit then I'm gonna have my storefront linked below and you can dig through that I always link everything for any of my dinner parties So hopping right in in the hosting category every time I post these plates So many people ask where they're from and they are actually from Amazon. They're just these like wavy scalloped plates so I have the dinner plate and then the salad plate as well. I feel like these are my all-time favorite dinner plates I use these at pretty much every dinner party lately and they do tend to sell out I had to buy these first and then like weeks later go back for these so if you want them and you see them both, I would recommend just going ahead and getting them. Another hosting staple of mine are these woven placemats. So I feel like they sell something like this at so many places. I know Target has some as well, but these have just held up really well. I've had them for probably four or five years now. Very versatile, good for indoor, outdoor, pretty much any season. And um, you know, not tons to say about a placemat, but I just love these. I've gone back to buy more as my dining table has grown over the years. Another table setting staple for me are these bud glasses. So um, each pack, actually comes with four different styles so these are just two of the four um, but it comes with two of each so you get eight glasses in each set I use these all the time for making small floral arrangements around the house or just for lining like my whole dinner table with these I think it brings so much color to the whole table to just have like your flowers dispersed in these yeah I just love the little ribbed detailing and these are one of my all-time favorite Amazon staples continuing a bit with the ribbed theme these wine glasses are my go-to wine glasses if you can tell um, they have that ribbed detailing as well. I love that they are so big. They're definitely meant to be like a red wine glass, but who has time for those specifics around here? I just use these for everything. These have been very durable and you know, they're a pretty heavy glass. This definitely does not feel like a cheap little thing that's just gonna snap anytime. Everyone always compliments those. And then for a fun, like more cocktail glass that I've gotten pretty recently are these that are gold rimmed. I think these are so cute for like elevating a margarita or just any kind of like summer drink. I just think these look so nice and just kind of how it's angled. It's just very comfortable to hold as well. So nobody dropping these. Switching gears to another play set that before I got the scalloped ones I just showed. These were my plates that I used for years and years. They're like a stoneware material. They are pretty heavy again, and they sell these in several colors. Next for an item that's really fun that I feel like a lot of people wouldn't think about buying this for your house. Like I feel like you see these at restaurants and they're just these um, battery powered tabletop lights. I don't know if you can tell, there's like kind of like a true white setting, a warm setting, and then a cool setting if you could see that on my hand, but these just um, recharge just with like your laptop charger. I love using these for outdoor or just like anything after dark even at just the dinner table like I feel like you need a lot of candles for like some candlelight to go a long way but this just like lights up the table and it's just like such a nice vibe compared to the overhead lights of course so I love having these around and they sell them in I know black gold and just some different colors this is like the bronzy brass shade next up something that could either be like a coffee bar staple so we use some of these there um, but we also use these at our bar for just bitters so they are these little ribbed bottles it actually comes in a pack of four so there's some different designs we use these for different flavors of coffee syrup or again just for bitters at the bar And I just love when things can be functional But also like serve such a decorative purpose to breeze through my last few items here I also really love this ribbed little like coffee creamer cup That's what I use it for at least when I want to like mix up a little cold foam or whipped cream or anything like that Again, I just love having this item set out at my coffee bar because I feel like it is so cute next up I love this glass cocktail shaker just with like the little crosshatch vibe going on and the gold top I use this so often like in any of of my cocktail drink videos I feel like I feel like this also makes such a great like housewarming gift or just like 
anyone I feel like could use a cuter cocktail shaker. Next up, an outdoor item that I upgraded my life with this year would be this wooden outdoor bar cart. You do have to assemble it and it was actually pretty easy. We put it on backwards the first time, but it, that was, you know, user error. It was pretty easy to figure out and it's been holding up well. So this has been so nice to create like an outdoor little drink station when hosting um, or just day to day it houses our herbs outside. And I just love the idea of having an indoor bar cart and an outdoor one. And then lastly in this category, a very miscellaneous one, but that I feel like has become very trendy right now. I'm seeing a lot of people making custom DIY pizza boxes. So all you need is a little red Sharpie and these blank white pizza boxes and you're good to go. You just fold them up and you know, get to doodling. So I've used these a few different times recently. Now moving on to the home decor category, starting with what has been one of my favorite Amazon purchases of the past year. And that is these battery powered wall sconces. One day I would love to get some legit sconces, you know, wired into the walls, but that's like a much later thing down the road. So for right now, I just think these add like such an elevated look to your bedroom. We obviously have the gold ones, but again, they sell them in a few different colors. And then there's just a little remote to turn it on and off. And I just love having those. Next, also with lighting, it's not on right now. You can see one of these behind me, but they are just our rechargeable LED picture lights. So we have some in black. We have a couple in gold throughout the house. And I just feel like it adds so much to your space to have a little picture light over any of your artwork. Next are some fun ones because everyone loves candlesticks, I feel like. First, I've talked about these before, but I just love these travertine candlestick holders. They are heavy duty. I feel like they are so cute. Or also this set. So this is like a kind of hammered gold or like brass tone. They're a little bit different, but they coordinate, which is nice. I don't know what's going on with any of my candlesticks. That needs to be my next Amazon purchase. But both of these sets are on my rotation of just like gifts I love to give people because I feel like they're so beautiful and everyone could always use more candlesticks. So next, another ambient lighting solution is another cordless lamp. So we actually have been, we've been moving this all around the house. When we have people over, we like putting this in the bathroom so that the overhead light doesn't have to be on, but like it's still just like, you know, vibe in there. We put it in the kitchen. So same thing as the bar lights, you just charge it up and it actually is dead right now. So I can't even show you. And yeah, there are a bunch of different styles on Amazon of these types of lamps, but I just think it's so nice to be able to move something around the house and like really get that dim lighting wherever you want. I put this in the bathroom when I take a bath, you know. It's my emotional sport lamp. Another lamp I love that is a traditional lamp with a cord is this stone lamp that we have in our living room. Again, this brand sells several different colors, so I'll have in the description box the exact shade that ours is because I need to check. She's a sturdy lamp. Like this is like a nice item. Um, I would definitely get more of these. Next for a fun picture frame because I feel like rarely do like picture frame purchases stand out to me that I like go back to repurchase. But I have for this one, it's just this like gold antique vibe frame. Um, they actually sell it in a pack of two. And we have so many of these throughout our house. On the back, they do have the mounting gear to be able to hang it vertically or horizontally. I also just love frames that come with the mat already. And I just think that that looks so much nicer if you're gonna be framing any kind of art or photos. Next up, I love this three pack of concrete pots that we got. So we have some of these outside and some of these inside and they are just nesting pots. So you get three different sizes in there. And I'm kind of pairing this item with this seven foot tall faux olive tree that I also got from Amazon. I feel like if you're on TikTok or wherever this duo has been a popular pairing where you take your olive tree, you put it inside your big oversized pot, and then you just fill it with cardboard boxes or just like anything to kind of get some height within the pot and then cover the top of that with moss, which I also got on Amazon. And you're left with this very elevated looking plant that just looks so much better than like the little miniature pot that I feel like artificial olive trees always come like built into. Next up, another thing I keep repurchasing from Amazon are just curtains. I have these semi sheer linen curtains and just like a natural kind of like flax shade all over my house, like the exact same ones. It comes in so many links, so many colors. I feel like curtains can be so hit or miss. So I just really love and recommend those. And you know, one of my biggest regrets is like overpaying for curtains, like these behind me from West Elm, like literally they look identical to the Amazon ones. Less exciting, but I also do just get my curtain rods from Amazon also, just these simple like one inch black rod ones. So that's my curtain duo that is all over my house. Next up, I get all of my coffee table books from Amazon. So whether they are the more like designer books like Louis Vuitton or whatever that I have a couple of, or just like more affordable, smaller ones that all have that like same neutral aesthetic, I feel like. Those also make great gifts, but I will have in my storefront just a bunch of them listed there that I've bought from Amazon. So if you're in the market for that, I feel like there is so much to pick from. Next up, a purchase that I feel like was a great value for what it was just compared to a lot of other options out there are these wood floating shelves that came in a three pack. They come in like three different depths. So, you know, one is a little bit longer than smaller and then like the smallest. We used one of these 
these in our guest bedroom and then two of them above our bar. And again, I just feel like when I was looking into floating shelves, like why are they so expensive? So these were so easy to install. And then yeah, I just love that there's like the built-in lip if that's what it's called, you know, so that our items can sit up there and things can lean against it and it's not gonna fall off. I had to change my battery, but next up are these decorative baskets. I feel like baskets are something that like, you know, there's a million options out there and I just feel like most of them look ugly. Like, I don't know, it's my opinion. I needed some decorative something that like could be storage and that like was natural with its color scheme and like, you know, but I just didn't want like a floppy little basket with rounded edges. Like I just wanted, you know, something with some structure. So at first I had these on some shelves just with one of them upside down and it just stacked like this, but now I have them at a couple different places throughout the house just as actual storage in my office. So to round out the last couple of items on this list, lastly, we have one more lamp here. I have this tripod floor lamp that is wood. I just feel like finding a good floor lamp is so hard to find. Like they all just are giving like dorm room to me. You know what I mean? Like they're not giving design. They're not giving like cozy home. So this is like one of one that I have found on Amazon that I really like. And lastly here, this is a pet item, but I feel like it is pretty decorative and it is this travertine dog bowl. Name a cuter dog bowl, you know? Now tons to say again, I feel like for a lot of these items. I just saw this in someone else's video and I was like, you know, that's that's Mia's. That's like, that's coming home with me. So, you know, there should be more cute pet items out there. Next, moving into the furniture category. I only have three items here, starting with these tables that it looks like it's one long like console table, but these are actually just two cabinets. You assemble these and I won't lie, the assembly was not my favorite for this item, but now, you know, it looks beautiful and I'm happy I did it. They make a couple of different like color variations of this as well. You do get a lot of storage space in these cabinets and I just feel like so many just pieces of furniture that are this size are so expensive for absolutely no reason. So this was a deal. Next up on a similar but smaller scale, this actually used to be our entryway table when we were in our townhouse. So it was a much smaller space and this ended up being the perfect, like just mini little piece of furniture to go in our guest room. Assembly was pretty easy for this one. Lastly here, calling this furniture is a stretch, but an Amazon item that has stuck with me for many, many years now is this velvet ottoman that has a lid so you can store some things in here and whether it's been in my closet or now it's just kind of like a decorative stool in our bedroom. This is also sold in a lot of colors and again, it's just an Amazon purchase that I've been happy with over the years. Next for the tech category, again, we have lots of like lighting items in here. Starting with these outdoor solar lights. We use these to line just like our driveway and the path up to our house as well as all throughout our backyard. We have a couple of different styles of these. Um, some that like point up to like light up plants or light up our house or whatever and then others that um, um, just project down at the ground to light up where you're walking. Next, very similar are just these solar powered little string lights. So I didn't even know that those lights could be solar powered, but it is so nice for being able to hang outside anywhere that isn't near an outlet or that you just want to be evergreen, just like on every night and not have to think about it. So we have these over our grill and we really love those. Next, last outdoor boring item, I swear, but I did not know that ring cameras made solar powered ring cameras. And so in the past, like years ago, we were always having to go like take down the camera and charge the batteries and re-put them up. And I just had no clue that they made solar panels for those. So now you don't ever have to worry about it. They are charged all the time. Next, moving back inside. I love having these in our gym room. They're just these vertical like corner lights. There's a music setting. So that's what, again, why I really love it in the gym. The colors will change with the music. If you have it set to that, um, you can change the warmth and the brightness and everything. I feel like, again, ambient lighting is everything. So these are pretty fun. Done with lighting. Next up, I love my $10 phone case. This is sold in so many colors. I do have to repurchase this probably every six months or so. I feel like, you know, the paint starts to chip off or the coloring or whatever it is. For $10, I feel like I'll take it and I just feel like it's so cute and I normally like to switch my color at that point anyway. Next up, we love our Amazon Echo Show 15, um, which is, I'm pretty sure, the biggest of the Echo Shows that's out right now. We don't have a TV in our kitchen, so it's nice to be able to watch a show while we're cooking. You can display up to four ring cameras, like all on one screen. You can pull up recipes and, you know, the list goes on, but we mostly just like it to function as a small little TV. I also added on the teak frame, which I feel like really did a lot from a 
design perspective as well. And then the last thing in this category would be this acrylic headphone stand. So I actually got this for Giselle. She's working all day long with her headphones and just is always throwing them somewhere. So I thought this is so cute to put on your desk to have just your little headphone stand and then they have a little place. Next for bed and bath. So we're in the home stretch here. First up, I love this adhesive like shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, little bottle set that goes on your shower wall. So they just come in a three pack and they're multiple different styles as well. And I feel like this was just giving hotel. Like, you know, I just want, I just love the feeling of being at like a bougie hotel. So, and then it's very easy to just refill with any of your shampoo and conditioner. Final two items here pertain to bedding. First up that we use in our guest room because the mattress is a little bit firmer than we originally thought, but it's just this mattress topper that connects around all four corners. So it stays in place. So it provides a couple of inches of just some comfy height. You know, it really does, I feel like make a difference on that bed. And then my last item here would be this duvet insert. It is on the pricier side as far as duvet inserts go. And that's because it rocks. So I feel like I've never had such a plush, again, hotel-like thick, like, you know, airy duvet like look. And it's like all coming from the insert. So I just could not recommend that enough as someone, you know, we're all buying duvet inserts. I feel like over the course of our lives and like this one just like exceeds anything from before. So yeah, I'm really passionate about that duvet insert, but that brings me to the end of this list. So I hope that this gave you guys some ideas of just how to shop some Prime Day deals. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you would want to see more, I would love if you would let me know in the comments. And again, everything is going to be linked below plus even more on my storefront. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.